This is Code.org, and I am currently working on Dance Party. I'm on level 6. Let's see what we're doing. So we need more dancers. Oh, perfect. And we already have some code here. Add your new dancer here. Let's test it out. Ooh, fancy. And I guess we're going to add another dancer? Cool. All right, let's see. Create a backup dancer called Backup Dancer 1. Notice the one at the end. That's not an L. I messed that up to dance uh, with the cat, okay? Oh, that's all of our, so we gotta create a backup dancer. So these are the code blocks we can use. This is the work area where we can drag this code and drop it in. Our song, which I will leave as is. Uh, feel free to change it, a bunch of options. All right, it wants us to add our new dancer here. Be careful with this, it wants us to attach the block. So we have to put it within this setup thing, right? We want setup to kind of hug the block. So let's see, do any of these say backup? Okay, this says backup, and this says backup. Create a backup dancer. So would we want to make a new duck called backup dancer, or would we want backup dancer to do something? This being code, we definitely need to make the dancer first, right? We need to create it. And we know, because if we look at this, it wants us in setup, look at our first dancer. And here we make our first dancer, right? Then down here, after two uh, measures, we talk about the dance to do. So we're going to grab this, attach it right under Make Our Dancer. We're going to space these out a bit. And it looks like we could change this up if we want. Um, moose, cat, alien. I'm going to leave that as is. Let's go ahead and, well, uh, test it out. Dance, dance, dance. And so the duck stays dancing the same way. Um, because in this second loop, in this uh, two measures loop or function or whatever, this is where we change our cat dance. So this is the code that worked for me, right? And we don't change the ducks dance in here. Awesome. Let's keep going.